Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode uh, in my opinion was the best episode of season 2 because like it was so damn amazing. It was like so entertaining like a lot of things that I like have not expected uh, in that like the way it was going and uh, there were a lot of things that I thought would go in a certain direction but it really did not and like it surprised me in a lot of ways and I was like thoroughly impressed by the whole episode like by the episode itself and also uh, by Chrome like he did an amazing job uh, like getting out of that situation without any help uh, doing everything on his own uh, without proper tools <laughs> that's a really you know like big accomplishment even though i'm guessing ukyo kind of helped him in a way uh, by providing the battery but still like nonetheless like it was like something that he did himself and like <laughs> like good job like uh, that that like really impressed me like the whole thing with chrome and like that's why like as, as i said that uh it kind of went in a direction that i really was not expecting it to go i thought maybe sync would come in uh like even in the end i thought that maybe sync was you know going to come in and help him but no chrome did it all by himself and yeah that's amazing so yeah uh without further ado let's get started with uh dr stone season two episode number seven all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's recap, all right. Haha. <laughs> Jailbreaker of the of Chrome, <laughs> the science user, jailbreaker and the science user. Yes, Masaka indeed. All right. About that, uh, I don't think that's Taiju, but oh well. There you go. Nope. Oh, wait. She has some kind of mission? Oh. Yeah, I thought that was the mission. So there was something else? Oh, that was, that's a new, you know, like, new thing. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was what I was saying. Like, you don't need to destroy it. Exactly. Side of the final battle. Oh, all right. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but capturing the, you know, the ca the cave. This is like a capture and what what do you call that? Capture the flag? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, they're recruiting. Alright, they're recruiting people. And he as well. With his voice. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I think Ukyo will, you know, probably do something. Like, let it go. You know, he's kind of, you know, helping him, them in a way. In few ways. So he might... Yeah, like, he might look the other way. Okay, haha. <laughs> hmm. So what will uh, Senku do today? Like, are they going to go and start the attack? Hmm. Okay, so all the characters have been introduced. Are, are there any character left to be introduced? Like, at least from the opening I can see, like... Like, Yo is there, Ukyo, and... Uh, what was the name of the girl? Nikki. Nikki is there. Homura was always there, like, from the previous season. Whoa! The... Like making more layers. Oh, these are new new recruits Okay Ah, there you go <laughs> They're convinced <laughs> Oh my god Okay, let's go. Let's see the training. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yep. Subtle Southern X. Okay. There you go. All right. All right, yeah, they're, they're going, <laughs> but it's a big lie, so when they get to know, um, um about that, guys. Okay, they're going going in this direction. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Haha, <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. He has heard it. So. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. 
Oh my god. <clears throat> so the expert has come. Yeah, again. Do your magic. <laughs> okay, this is again. Okay. Okay. Normally. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. They won't understand. A lot of them. But, like, I, I, I doubt, like, no one knows English there, like. Like, I'm sure some of them knows English, won't they? Like. Yeah, like he, he got it, but. Okay. Oh, so why are you doing this? But, but. Okay, so he has still not decided. Okay. Okay, so what is the secret mission like? That like Senku gave to Yuzuriya. Oh, with fragments of rock. Oh. What? <laughs> oh she used her talent to do it quickly and after that uh, is doing something else yeah well what? What? Wait, what? Oh my god! Wait, so... Just bringing back people? Like from the dead, it's kind of like that, like without, like not, they're not dead, obviously, like they're still petrified. So before it weathers, they're putting it together. Yeah, and because she's good at sewing, you know, like she's good at this kind of stuff, like they can glue it. I thought like, I, I'm going to talk about this after this ends, you know, like I, I had always thought about this in from season one. Like the reason I'll talk about it later on. Like how, <laughs> oh my God, like how they're doing it. Yeah. Um, where is yo? <laughs> oh my god. I want to see his face. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> is he hospitalized or something? Or uh, there's no hospital. What are we going to do? Hmm. What? Oh my god. Wait. Wait, he... Um... What? So he ran away? <laughs> Um, will he buy it? Uh... Yeah, there is a big if, you know. He's curious. Okay. Okay. But I think Senku wants to hear it himself. Uh -huh. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, yeah, all right. I list. Oh, this is when he. Oh, she's a journalist. Oh, yeah. Oh, she is helping them recruit the correct people. Okay, so she has a big role. Like, I kind of thought, like, what does she do? Like, she's handpicking them, kind of. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, paper thin reasoning. Hmm. Yeah, I get like, especially in this type of a situation. <laughs> well, yeah, that was Senku's plan from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, happy ending. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> oh. Oh, they kind of lied. Hmm. Like, yeah, they're going to, like, they're not a pacifist as they are. Okay. Oh my god, Yoga is here. Uh, 
ok so only yoga is left in that team isn't it that girl oh no if he digs oh my god this will be a problem if he starts digging I'm having a bad feeling here. Yeah, he is going to dig. I'm sure of it. Uh, oh my god, yo! <laughs> yo, yo was... But they're almost ready, you know? Like... Yeah, it's just... Yeah... First drive program. Oh. Oh. Damn! Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, that's kind of true. Like, they'll get freaked out as to, like, haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just for show. Hmm. Overpowered tough man around. Ties you. Ah, there he is. Finally, they meet. Yeah, there he is. And he's red hair as well. <laughs> Okay. All right. So now, if, even if like Sukasa finds the you know telephone now, it won't matter. Okay. Um. There you go. <laughs> Look at his face! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> and boom! The tank comes in. Let's see. Sean Anchor. As for normal. So within 20 seconds. Damn. Yeah, so quick. All right, there you go. And we start. Oh my God. Okay, the next episode will be amazing. I can feel it. All right, so. Because I found it, but it was too late. So, like, you can have to say, like, your kind of, you know, like, was able to, you know, if your, like, the whole thing happened a few days earlier, Sukasa would have found out the whole thing with the telephone. And, like, the, like, Senko's plan would have fallen short. So, thankfully, like, like the time when he found the telephone was the time when Senku started the you know uh, the war not war like you know what I'm trying to say like the infiltration 
So, <laughs> okay, one thing I will have to talk about in this episode, that is the whole thing with the <clears throat> revival thing. So, now, you guys remember in season one, uh, <clears throat> when there was this whole thing with, um, like, like, what can I say, like, uh, the stone, uh, the stone, uh, the petrified people breaking down and when we got to know that Yuzira is you know good with stitching okay is there anything else no that's the end all right so yeah as i was saying so in season one i think in the first few episodes i'm uh, not sure in which episode but <clears throat> like uh so there's this thing when the uh yeah, the, the stone, uh, like the uh, petrified people broke. There was this thing when I thought that maybe, maybe if they somehow, you know, put it together, like, you know, uh, they're petrified. So there's this whole thing with the, uh, you know, like uh, when the petrified places break, uh, it kind of, you know, heals. There's this thing in season one, as far as you can remember and um they kind of used that to you know revive not revive as per se but kind of bring senku back like senku got you know uh, his i think spinal cord completely broken or something and he had already put the like not uh, broken the piece of uh, stone in his i think in his neck or something in the spinal cord so like there was this whole thing with bringing senku back when uh like Taiju and Yuzi have kind of figured it out that uh, like <clears throat> putting you know nitric acid on that portion will break it and at the same time kind of join it and heal it so like that was the way Senku was brought back to life so like in that moment I thought that why not use the same thing to you know uh, bring back people who are uh, like like completely broken and like you know if, if hand is broken someone's hand is broken uh, you just you know uh, put it together somehow uh, like uh, obviously at that time like they did not have any glue uh, so I was kind of thinking like how to you know put them together but uh, now like glue is nothing like <laughs> Senku had done everything Senku had made uh, like uh, <laughs> like you know vehicles so like glue is nothing for him so he has made glue so now this is quite poss possible so so I thought at that moment that if somehow they are able to put them together and then put the nitric acid on it who knows they might you know the broken arm might reattach and there might be some kind of you know scars left as uh, the scars that are kind of uh, left from like unpetrified people uh, where they kind of got cracked but then you know got uh, unpetrified by the nitric acid so like those type of scars might remain but you know they'll be saved so I kind of thought about that, but then I thought that no, maybe like this is kind of too much, you know, like uh, kind of like this is just like bringing death back to life. But obviously, like they're when they're petrified, like they are in, a, I'm guessing, s some kind of a suspended animation kind of a thing they are in. So obviously, like they cannot die in that way unless and until, you know, they, they are completely destroyed and like uh, scattered like powder. You know if someone does something like that they might die at that moment but if they make clean cuts or you know broken pieces uh, a lot of them so even at that moment they're still alive so unless and until the petrification breaks they'll still be alive so okay now if one thing is uh, a little bit difficult you know like they have to put the together uh, pieces extremely precisely together you know like for example if one small piece of uh, you know finger or something kind of misaligns with the cracked portion like the person if brought back to life by the nitric acid he'll be forever deformed <laughs> like yeah or like people might also die in that way like you know uh, like this is just something that we are thinking uh, from the outside like we're only thinking about arms and legs what about the inner uh, organs you know uh, for example the heart the stomach or every, all of those things like in those portion if they're not aligned properly 
like someone might get a ruptured lung from you know the ribs or something like that so they have to do it extremely precisely so usury is able to do that properly so i kind of thought that why not let usury ha you know put those pieces back together somehow and like revive them so that uh, during like when they revive them and the uh, petrification breaks uh, by the reaction of that uh, like the portions get sealed and they can be as good as new so this was one thing that i thought in season 1 obviously because i have not reacted to season 1 like i cannot like i did not like i was unable to share that but now that they are like doing this like yeah like i kind of got remembered that yeah this is one thing that i thought before so senku kind of thought the same thing then and <coughs> excuse me and uh, so yeah so like um this is the thing that kind of made ukyo uh, shift back to like you know deflect to their team now ukyo had a plan like that is one thing that obviously all of us knew he was doing stuff uh, on like in sukasa's behind sukasa's back so the reason is like got revealed in this episode why like uh, he just wants you know like for everyone to like live which unfortunately sukasa is not uh, like is not going to like allow so yeah and so who is left in sukasa's team like um yoga is someone else left that girl who kind of um is with them the blonde haired girl so only those two of them and some foot soldiers so what are they even going to do like you know like like we know yoga and sukasa themselves are pretty strong but we have taiju uh, senku has his brain and then gen with his mentalist tricks and uh, like <clears throat> nikki is i'm guessing pretty strong as well she's kind of buff and uh nick then yoga with uh, not yoga uh, ukyo with his hearing so yeah like i, I think it's kind of one side isn't it i don't know like who knows man like sukasa is the strongest primate so he might you know <laughs> like break a tree and start a swinging start swinging it around like who knows <laughs> like he is quite strong so yeah <clears throat> and <clears throat> And Yo kind of bailed in this situation. <laughs> I'm not sure what he'll do. Like, like obviously he's not here. I don't know where he went. So like, and the whole like you know attack uh, against Sukasa kind of started in this episode. And in the next episode we'll see uh, like how it goes. So like, <laughs> Yo won't be available at that moment. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> and. Oh, and also a few of them uh, kind of w went to Senku's side, a few of the other people. We kind of saw them uh, in the end, they kind of like showed us who, like how they look like. But I'm guessing a few, like obviously they are side characters, but I'm guessing a few of them will become some supporting characters or not. I'm not sure because like a few of them, we, as I can see, is quite... Like does not look like side characters you know so i'm not sure if some of them will become main supporting characters in the future episodes they might you know and so also another thing uh, their goal is not like you know uh, not defeating the sukasa empire their goal is capturing the cave now one thing comes to my mind now like even if they are able to capture the cave like what will they do then like they'll be sitting ducks like sukasa will come from the outside and they'll be just like defending so like my question is how will they win like like defense like they're going on completely defense mode so you know so the sukasa people like sukasa will attack and they'll defend so when will that end like how will they even know that yeah we have won like that's the big question i have like 
I don't know like uh, like previously I kind of thought they're going to you know uh, like kind of capture Sukasa or something <laughs> like tie him up or something like they'll do something like that but in today's episode uh, like as far as we can see their plan is capturing the cave so I'm not quite sure how they're going to carry that out like capturing the cave is something that they can obviously like I think they can do quite easily like they'll capture the cave that will be not easy but that will be doable but after that that what will they do <sighs> i don't know and um yeah and then what else was there something else in this episode let's see um nope that was it i think uh the most impressive thing in this episode was that uh the revival thing that they're doing like you see yeah is carrying the you know the rocks and another thing that senku kind of said is uh, like you know uh, kind of um interesting is he said that uh, unless and until the rocks weather and you know become like dust they'll be alive now that was a big question that you know uh all of us had and kind of got answered in this episode and yeah so you know all of those broken pieces lying uh, down uh, uh, like uh, lying here and there uh, the people who Sukasa killed they're alive you know like so obviously Sukasa did not grind them into dust like he, he did not do that I doubt he did that <laughs> like, he just you know kind of crushed them so yeah those are now like one thing I am really kind of thinking you know like like I can like obviously like I can kind of understand that the yeah, Yuzura is good with his hands she can like you know uh, assemble it and do it properly but like what will you what like obviously like these are small rock pieces like how can she you know find each and every piece like Sukasa like it's not that like Sukasa broke them extremely you know well like he just crushed them and they're like big pieces small pieces extremely small pieces here and there scattered all around so like what you have to do is go and pick each and every piece even if that piece is you know uh, this small like you have to pick it up so how is that humanly possible you know like okay like um like okay one thing uh like let's just like uh think it in this way like sukasa breaks a like stone statue he goes away yuzuru and taiju are like standing uh like uh hiding somewhere after like uh, uh sukasa goes away yuzuru comes in and picks up all the pieces now the problem starts here so even if he like she comes and like immediately picks up all the pieces it's extremely difficult to pick each and every piece now i'm not quite like like obviously i think that she needs each and every piece otherwise it will kind of you know not work out like like they like need the full like puzzle like each and every piece of the puzzle like if one piece is missing it will be a like bad situation like the person who is revived he'll be deformed forever so which i think is you know like even like uh worse than death uh, in a way so like i don't know like this is kind of like impossible i think but um but yeah anyways like uh and like you know and how do you even like you know recognize the like stone pieces for example uh like like there are a lot of other rocks you know rocks and rock pieces scattered around in this especially in this era so if like uh like you know Sukasa breaks uh one of the stone pieces and there is a similar colored similar size rock normal ordinary rock in the ground and it gets mixed up you know mixed up within the stone pieces what what will you do then like you won't be able to recognize okay i'm thinking a bit too much about these things <laughs> like i'm going a little bit too deep in it so okay like <laughs> like this is not like you know some kind of uh, <laughs> like this is just uh, like a happy good sh like show like obviously I, I don't need to go so deep into it anyways um yeah like uh it's a good thing that they are <clears throat> trying to bring uh the 
like uh, people who have died back because the reason why i'm saying it's good is that there is like a you know uh now like at least like if someone dies like not dies but if sukasa crushes someone there is a chance of him or her to be brought back so gen i think gen knew one of those stone pieces you know uh, from i think it was uh, on one of those episodes in this season so obviously gen gen will get a little bit of a you know uh, like will be <coughs> uh, like will get a little bit of a peace of mind because actually like i i think it was like again new one of the people from this like petrified uh, like thing didn't he like it kind of showed like it kind of like showed the scene in that way like again kind of got a flashback or something i'm guessing anyways so yeah i'm sure we'll get to know in the future episodes yeah and uh, in the end uh, we get to see the full tank tank or whatever that is <laughs> um uh like that we are always seeing in the you know opening and it also has a you know turret and uh, a one time mm, the thing what was that like the bazooka or whatever whatever it is called like one time uh, which is probably <coughs> like as he said that 20 second time limit uh, in that moment they'll have to like rush in and capture the cave so whatever is going to happen i'm guessing in the next episode it will happen like extremely quickly and after that they'll have to you know either uh, like defend the place or if they fail somehow they'll have to like you know like start fighting and they'll have to do it non lethally otherwise ukyo won't be uh, like helping them and obviously senku i'm sure senku also does, doesn't want anyone to die so yeah So yeah that was uh, this episode this was uh, Dr Stone episode uh, season 2 episode number 7 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed or you haven't and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back with another episode of Dr Stone season 2 next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day